does he have the game to win all four majors? Absolutely, he has the game. I mean, when it comes down to it, the Open Championship, or as we over here like to call it the British Open, that's all dependent on the side of the draw you get. And what I mean by that is when you tee off on Thursday and Friday. But we saw Rom this past week get the worst part of the draw. He played in the worst of the weather, was out there when they actually blew the horn on Saturday and stopped play. So Rom to do what he did sets a precedent and sends a message to everyone else. I cannot be stopped even by Mother Nature. You know, Michael, you know me, my brother. I mean, I was watching a little bit because I, I don't watch too much golf, but I was watching a little bit yesterday. And I, I kind of noticed that we sort of prize money a little over three million. I think it's a little over three point two million, if I remember correctly. The uh, you know winning prize money. But I, I saw a couple of live golfers that that, that were relevant there: Brooks Kepka, uh, Phil Mickelson. I mean, they were right there in the end. And and I just said to myself, if they had won, if they had won, Lord have mercy, what would what this would have done for the event? Tell me what you were thinking. When you saw Kepka, when you saw Phil Mickelson in position as golfers would live and what that would have meant to everything, how that would have upset the apple cart even more to some degree. And by the way, their prize money, I think, I think they earned over $4 million, but that, that's a different subject for another day. Go ahead. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, when it comes down to it, there were 18 guys that teed it up or were going to tee it up. Two guys withdrew from the Live Tour. So that's 16 players from the Live Tour that had an opportunity to play the Masters all the way through. 12 of them made the cut. So all this noise that you were hearing from other people and media outlets talking about, oh, those dudes aren't really into competition. They're rusty. They ain't played in a while. It's not going to be good. They're all going to just play, like, meh, golf, whatever with that. We saw what happened to anchored putters and those long putters after Adam Scott won the Masters, right? Like, everyone was like, oh, that's a bad look. Those long putters don't look nice. Adam Scott wins the Masters, and all of a sudden, bang, anchoring gets banned. I think if Brooks Kepka would have held on to win the Masters, it would have been a very similar situation as when we had an AFL and an NFL. No one took the AFL seriously until they won the Super Bowl, and that changed everything. Now, I think this sent a big message to everybody out there, and it's going to quell all that noise on these dudes only played three rounds. That's not real golf. It ain't legitimate. Look, Justin Thomas and Rory McIlroy didn't even make the cut, and they've been playing on the PGA Tour for a minute. So you're going to tell me a 52-year-old like Phil Mickelson can have magic at a place like the Masters and finish in second place after all that noise about how what they're doing over there ain't even real golf and shouldn't be considered legit? A dude like Patrick Reed, who everybody's been saying the same Four. thing. Yep. That man couldn't break eggshells. He couldn't break a grape in a fruit fight. And now these dudes finish, three guys finish in the top four. All that noise about the Live Golf Tour and how it's not the same level of golf, gone by the wayside now. Okay. They're going to have to figure out a way more than four times a year to get the best players in the world, and that includes the Live Golf guys, to get together and go toe-to-toe -to because -toe. it was epic. That was almost the heavyweight fight we were dreaming of. Let me transition to Mr. Tiger Woods. Um, I watched him limping on the course before he bowed out Sunday. Um, and I was thankful that he bowed out, to be quite honest with you. Look at that right there. That's just sad to see. You and I know his foot, it was just sad yeah. to see. Uh, I think it's time for him to call it quits. I know Phil Mickelson is age 52, but the bottom line is Phil Mickelson's body hasn't been through what Tiger Woods' body has been through. And I'm not saying that Phil Mickelson hasn't gone through some adversity, but never the, some physical adversity and challenges in his life. But I'm just saying I ain't never seen him like I'm seeing Tiger. It's one of them sad, sad situations right now. I'm talking about his health. He needs to step away. What are your thoughts? I say to my golf friends who are injured and hurt, what I say to all of my friends who have played professional sports and play professional sports now and get hurt, when is the last time that you heard an athlete say, I stayed away too long before I came back from injury? I just, I'll wait. 
I never heard an athlete say I stayed away too long. I heard a lot of athletes say I came back too soon. You know, you can go back to earlier in the week for Tiger Woods when he hit a drive on the 18th green that was next to the fairway bunker, and he could have taken a stance with his feet outside the bunker and just hit a little bunt up there. He dug his right foot into the sand. Now, that's the bad leg. His left foot was out of that bunker. His stance was very strange, and when he swung, he was going to put a lot of weight on that back right foot, the one that's damaged from the car accident. I was in the caddy shack when he took that stance, and I can tell you I was in there with players and caddies and everyone in there. First, when he started taking the stance, was yelling at the TV, don't do this. Stop it. Please don't do this. Then when he took that swing and fell backwards and held that right foot in the air and hopped down, everyone held their breath because that could have been it for the leg. You just don't know. And this is the thing with Tiger Woods. The less we see him, the longer we get to see him. But when yes. you see something like this and how we saw him before he WD'd with limping like that when it was 40-something degrees and rainy and cold, you know, everyone's talking about that leg, but this is a guy who has had five back surgeries too. 50 degrees and raining, 40 degrees and raining, blowing sideways. It just can't be can good I for stop the back you? when you stop and start like that. Can, can, let me stop you because I don't yeah, – yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm worried about what you're saying. See, to me – what I was alarmed about yesterday is that people were looking at the weather and they were saying the weather conditions are so porous, Tiger Woods, you can't deal with this. And I'm saying, no, it's not just the weather. Because he had to stop and start. It, it, it's Because he had to stop and start. Right. I'm but saying it's not just here, the weather. It's his yes, health. It's yes, you're right. If Tiger had an opportunity to have four days of perfect weather, 70 degrees, you know, not rain where he could just play straight through. We saw he made the cut at Genesis. The question for Tiger is this. Is he ever going to give himself enough time to build stamina in that leg? Does that leg even have the opportunity for that to happen? And that's the thing, Stephen A. And it's horrible to say and would be – it's gut-wrenching to even think about that that was the last time we saw Tiger and that's how we see him walk off the field. I know well, we don't want to see him walk off the playing field like that, but – is he going to have opportunities where he has enough stamina in that leg to go well, four rounds and a practice round? Well, I will That's, tell you this. That might have been the last time. We got to go. Would we be okay yeah, yeah. with it? Last thing here. We, we, mm. we, we got to go, Michael, but I will tell you this. All right. I think Phil Mickelson's mm -hmm. performance yesterday at the age of 52 helps because if you're a Tiger, who I believe is 47, <laughs> you can use yeah. that as motivation to take all the time necessary away Believing that and you, you can ain't still letting come back. Phil go out more I'm on saying, top than you, you and the gust at you can still the Masters. Do that. You can stay away. There ain't no way Tiger's gonna be like, yo, yeah, yeah, Phil, let, let him have the glory at the Masters, and I'm good. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Tiger only, not good with that. No, nope. only Tiger's gonna decide if the pain's still worth it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.